We are back with a food trend that we've been hearing a lot about lately, meatless meat. It's made to look and taste like the real thing. It's also become big business in just a year. Plant-based meat sales have increased by 26%, bringing in more than $800 million. More restaurants are adding it to the menu. More options are popping up in stores as well. But is it really a healthier option? Dave Zinko is a Today Health and Wellness contributor. He is also founder of Eat This, Not That, of course. Always good to have hey, you. Hey, great to see you, Craig. So these are all the rage now. All the, all the but First of all, what constitutes, I guess, meatless meat, fake meat, if you will. Well, first of all, it's meat that's made from plants. Okay. That's, that's number one. And then these companies were able to basically replicate almost perfectly the taste, the texture, the chemical composition of burgers in this case. And, and unlike a typical veggie burger of the past, they are trying to get it to taste like meat. So that you'll you'll eat more of that. And, and even when you cook them, I've noticed meat. that they even cook yes. like your traditional burgers. Exactly the same. Right, exactly so this, the is a, same. this is a regular burger. Right. So, I know what these taste like. So let's this well, is if we if we go through the nutrition oh, okay. the nutritionals on them, and what you're gonna see is that for something like like beef, it's gonna come in and feel free to try any of these. It's gonna come in at about 287 calories normally. It's got uh, 75 milligrams of sodium, which is which is great. It's got 23 grams of fat and about 8.6 grams of saturated fat. That's that's where we are with the traditional beef. Okay, that's okay. the regular. Burger. Yeah. That's then we move up, then we move over to Impossible, and that's coming in at about 200, you know, 40 calories. So you're saving, you know, around 40. Then um, it's got 14 grams of fat, which is you're saving there. It's got um, uh, about the same saturated fat and a little bit more sodium. Okay. How about the uh, and then, Beyond Meat Burger? And then for Beyond... I've actually what, had these on a number of occasions. Yeah, this is, this is like um, Impossible coming in at around 250 calories, a little bit higher um, when it comes to sodium, but, but fat is uh, much less fat and, uh, and a lot less saturated fat. Six grams of saturated fat is great because women should get about 20 grams a day. So on the whole, Dave, are these, these meatless burgers... Healthier for you than the traditional counterparts? They're not necessarily healthier because the manufacturers are trying very hard to, to give you a plant-based meat alternative. They want it to. So, so it's going to have similar uh, saturated fat, fat, sodium, and, and calories. However, it's, it's better for you in two important distinctions. It's better for, for you for uh, eating less red meat because mm -hmm. we eat about two, point, uh, two and a half burgers worth of red meat a day, which is five times more than we should. And, and beyond that, it's much better for the planet. It's much more sustainable. So if you're, you know, thinking about the environment and you're trying to eat, you know, less red meat. And that, that um, new UN report yeah, just out yeah, this yeah, morning yeah, speaks to that. Yeah, this is a, right, so no animals were harmed in the making of these products. It's not just these, these, these burgers that we're talking about. This meatless trend is now, it's everywhere. Everywhere. Sausages. Everywhere, and it's exploding, and they are mastering the taste. What do we taste have dominates here? everything. Um, these are uh, sausage-based um, varieties, Beyond Meat, Beyond Sausage, um, which is terrific. Um, and this is a light life um, sausage, plant-based. And both of them have half the total fat. Um, well, that tastes your, like sausage. It's, it really is amazing. Wait till you, wait till you try this other one, too. Um, they're both lower in calories. Uh, and uh, you, it's, it, it looks, it sizzles, and it satisfies like normal sausage. Now, these, I would assume, are healthier than your traditional sausage. The, nutritionally, they are, they, they are better. Okay. And this is overall, a, I mean, overall, and this, uh, you know, Light Life has been um, doing this since 1979 and um, was well ahead of the trend. What do we have here? Okay, so here now we got the before the butcher. Uh, this is a breakfast sausage. What's great about this one is it's it fits perfectly on an English muffin. Ah. Um, it's an award winner, and uh, you're basically getting less sodium and double the protein. Um, this one over here is chorizo from Abbott the Butcher, and it is uh, basically uh, developed in a kitchen, not in a, not in a lab, right. which is great. It has a it's very flavorful. Now, these look just like chicken nuggets. Yes, yes. This is raised and rooted plant-based nuggets. This is actually um, Tyson-owned, and it's the only non-vegan option here because it does contain egg whites. Um, but it's, uh, That tastes just like a, like a chicken nugget. It's amazing, right? This stuff is I mean, not just like, a chicken like fake meat. Um, this right here is Nugs. Um, what's really interesting about this company <laughs> is that they're constantly updating their formula. So, so they keep making it a better and better chicken nugget that's plant-based. So, In terms of health. Yeah, so a year ago they had version 1.0, and now today they have 
3.1, which is a year later. Now, what is, what is this? And then this is good catch tuna. So, fake fish? So what's that? This is fake fish. This is, uh, and it's safe for those with uh, shellfish allergens. Um, so what you're getting here is a lot of the omega-3 um, fatty acids that you wouldn't necessarily get if you didn't like fish or were allergic to it um, in this good catch tuna. Have you tried that? I tried it. It's great. Is it? You, you weren't. I'm, a, I'm not a tuna guy. I'll taste it. Um, yeah. But I'm not. Is this in terms of like health? Is yeah. this just as this good? Is, this, is, uh, this is nutritionally, it's, uh, it, it's really great because you get the omega-3s. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not a, I'm not a tuna guy. Okay. But, you know, well, if you're into that, you're into that. Thank you. Yeah. We always learn something when you're here. Thank you, Dave Zinko. To learn more about these meatless meat options and where you can find them, today.com slash foods.